discussion on the segmental approach to congenital heart disease. Segmental approach is used routinely in the echocardiographic evaluation of congenital heart disease. It is also useful in other cardiac imaging modalities used for evaluation of congenital heart disease like computer tomography and magnetic resonance imaging. Chest X-ray is useful in evaluating the cardiac position and visceral situs as it gives an overview of cardiac position in the thorax, position of left and right bronchi, aortic arch, liver and stomach air bubble. Here is a chest X-ray in mesocardia and liver transposition of great arteries and L post aorta seen as a bulge along left upper border. Here is another chest X-ray showing right aortic arch in tetralogy of fallow and a lifted up right ventricular type of apex. In both these cases, the visceral situs is solitus as the stomach air bubble is on the left side and liver shadow on the right side. Abnormalities in situs can be situs inverses and situs ambiguous. Visceroatrial situs refers to the position of the atria in relation to stomach, spleen, liver and bronchi. In visceroatrial concordance, atrial situs corresponds to that of other viscera. If it is not so, it is called visceroatrial discordance. The left lung has two lobes and a relatively longer bronchus which is below left pulmonary artery. This is known as hyparterial bronchus. Right lung has three lobes and a wider, shorter bronchus which is above the right pulmonary artery. Right bronchus is aparterial. Cardiac position is mentioned as levocardia, mesocardia and dextrocardia depending on the location of cardiac mass within the thorax. Base apex axis is also considered in differentiating between levocardia and dextrocardia. Usually, the base apex axis and the cardiac position based on the cardiac mass in the thorax are concordant. The three main cardiac segments are the atria, ventricles and great vessels. Connections between these three segments are also evaluated sequentially. Identification of each segment is based on its morphological characteristics. Atrial situs is defined by morphological features including the appendages. Venous connections or position in the body cannot be used for definition in segmental analysis as they may vary. Atrial situs solitus is morphological left atrium on the left side and morphological right atrium to the right. Reverse pattern